the prayer for Christian unity. All people, lay people, priests, bishops, uh, have the duty to pray um, for Christian unity and to have a better knowledge from one another. For the feast of the conversion of St. Paul, over a century ago, the church established an important tradition, the Week of Prayer for Christian Unity. This year, the motto of the week is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10. You shall love the Lord your God and your neighbor as yourself. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andrea Stonehauser sat down with Cardinal Kurt Koch, who oversees the church's efforts regarding unity with other churches. Could you maybe tell us a little bit what will be the message of this, of this week, of this prayer, and what are your personal hopes for this? The beginning of the Ecumenical Movement is the introduction of the week of prayer for Christian unity. And it means the most important thing for Christian unity is prayer. The fundament of this issue we see in the high priestly prayer of Jesus in the 17th chapter by the by John. And for me it's always very impressive that Jesus does not command the unity between his disciples, but he prays for unity. Is this also difficult sometimes to pray together when you don't have the same theological basis? I think the prayer is a good way to have a better knowledge from one another because the prayer is a very inner mode uh, to be Christian, to be Protestant, to be Orthodox, to be Catholic. And when we see how the other is in prayer, we have a better knowledge from one another. Where would you see or how would you describe the situation of Christian churches and their journey towards, towards unity? It's very different. In our dicastery we have two sections, the section East and the section West. In the section East we have the dialogue with all the Oriental Orthodox churches and the Orthodox churches. Here we have a very base, big basis of human common faith. And I think the most important question is what is church, what is unity in the church, and what can be the rule of the Bishop of Rome in the, in the future unity. In the section West, we have many different uh, dialogues with all the churches and ecclesial communities. They come from the Reformation, it's the Lutheran, Reformed, Baptist, Mennonite, Methodists. Here, I think we must have a deeper discussion what is church and what is the unity of the church. And where will this discussion go? Are there any um, e ecumenical uh, events also planned for the Jubilee? Are there, are there any hopes also to have this Jubilee year as a, as a, a basis or a platform for, for conversations? This is the, the Holy Year yeah. for the Catholic Church and it's clear that the Holy Year has always the issue and the theme of conversion. And I think we must also have a conversion to unity. And during 2025, 20, we have also this uh, commemoration of the Council, First Council of Nicaea. This Council has happened in a time when the Church was not wounded by so many divisions and splits in the history. And I think all Christian churches and ecclesial communities can commemorate together this uh, first ecumenical council and to confess the Christological faith that Christ is the Son of God in union with the Father and to deepen this Christological question, uh, confession, together is for me a very beautiful um, challenge. What can uh, individual faithful do across the world to, to help with this challenge? What, what can I do um, to help with Christian unity? The prayer for Christian unity, all people, uh, lay people, priests, bishops, uh, have the duty to pray. Um, for Christian unity and to have a better knowledge from one another 
And this means that we must have some meetings with one another. We distinguish in the ecumenical dialogue between ecumenism of love and ecumenism of truth. Ecumenism of truth means the theological dialogue about the questions that have divided the church. And uh, ecumenism of love is relation in friendship, fraternal um, uh, relations. And this is the main um, light word uh, this year. You shall love the Lord, your God, and you shall love the neighbor as yourself. Um, from the Gospel of Luke. They will recognize them by their love. Your Eminence, thank you so much for your time and uh, we will join you in the prayer for Christian unity. United in prayer in, during this week. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you.